This is J-Lo. And Shaggy. And we're from Team Paranormal. And today we're going to show you a cheap and inexpensive way to make you an, in, an infrared <laughs> flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> here at possibly one of the most haunted cemeteries in America. Not only what what the legend is, give us the sign you're here with us right now. But what's the history behind it? That's like the loudest blinker ever. If there's any truth to it at all, there's gonna be because someone died there. That's the way ghost chasing goes. <laughs> I feel like we're rehearsing. <laughs> Golly. Alright, first of all, you need one of these. You can get a C or D cell battery, but you're gonna have to need you're gonna need more of these for layering. Oh, yeah. Second of all, you're gonna need film negatives with no pictures on them. So you can see through them. See? Most of y'all probably have that lying around the house. It'd be in the envelope that your pictures came in. Also, your flashlight, you buy one new, it comes with this. This is pretty handy. You don't have to have it, but I use it. And it also comes with replacement plastic for the, the bulb. Sweet. So, get you a pair of scissors. And get you one of these. And you're going to cut around it. Like so. Oh, here we go. Like so. And don't cut your fingers. Off. Yeah. And hours later, <laughs> hours later, <laughs> you will have a bunch of them, <clears throat> as we do here. And would you say it takes about ten? Yeah, I look for about ten of them. I did more, but I think ten's better. Ten is not too many, and it's just enough. So then, once you have all these cut out. As you can see here. You're going to take this. You're going to pop them in there. Like so. Take your flashlight. And it holds them in. See? Beautiful. And then you're going to turn it on. And this is what you'll see with a regular camera such as this iPhone. Just a red light. And there's not any light coming from it unless you put it like a couple inches just from your hand. You can layer it up more if you want to. If you don't want to see any of the red light, but this is good. Yeah, that's not going to give off really any light for you to see, especially in an investigation where you're looking down a hallway or across a room. And if you have one of those flashlights modified for nothing, you can get you one of these. This one has been modified. The hot mirror has been removed, so it's a full spectrum. And we'll show you a demonstration on that in just a minute. And here's another one, same thing. Hot mirror has been moved. It's for full spectrum. And we're going to show you the difference between the two and why one is better than the other with any sort of light source that's infrared. This is the flashlight that we showed you just a second ago. As you can see, do you have it on? Oh, I'm going no. to. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, wow, you can't see nothing. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, now, now you see a lot. <laughs> this one, this camera we're using, of course, use full spectrum. So uh, it really picks it up good. Now we'll kill the lights, and you're going to see just how much light this little bad boy provides. And voila, check that out. Talk about some cheap infrared flashlights. That is awesome. I mean, I seriously, dude, that gives off probably more light than, uh, than that expensive LED thing that we had that, that mounts with your with our other cameras. Mm -hmm. That that's really a lot of light. Well, it's not as spot like the other one is. The other one's like this. Right. 
This yeah, that's one. another thing I love about it. And you can adjust that yeah. depending on the the investigation, the size of the room or the hallway that you're in. <laughs> Here's another flashlight that I have, and we're going to make another video regarding this one. This is a pretty bootleg, but it works <laughs> really well. And bam. Oh, wow, that's bright. Now, this is an LED modified light. Uh... That that has been like you said bootleg modified, but uh, hey. <laughs> Works off a of one button battery, and my only test that I did, I got 11 hours and it wasn't even dead. It was about half dim. Wow. With one button battery, because I did is... put a resistor on it, so it doesn't drain the battery so much. This is cheap paranormal right here, people. Wow, that's good light. I can't even see your hand. <laughs> that's oh, right. Own eyes. <laughs> yeah. How well does it stand out? Because I don't. I all I see is a little red dot. Yeah, just don't stare at it for too long. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, they say it's bad. Oh, well, that, that's not good. I don't know. All that. right. And we're gonna switch over to the other camera that we pointed out. Give oh, you an idea. Alrighty. The same light source with a different camera. Remember this flashlight we, we just again. showed you in the other camcorder, which was a Samsung something something. Yeah. Well, anyway, this is a uh, JVC Pixio. I can see that because we have it in our hands. And uh, I'm going to turn the same flashlight on. Same battery drainage. Everything is all the same. Cool. Yeah. So we fixing it up pretty well. And we're going to shut off the lights. But uh, as you will see, this camera does not pick it up anywhere near as good as the other one did. So um, this this camera, when it was modded, uh, it doesn't let as much light in. So, but as you can see, hey, <laughs> for the price, it's still cheap paranormal right there. I mean, that's, that is infrared that any one of y'all can do with probably stuff you have lying around the house right now, so it doesn't get any cheaper than that. Alright, and we'll shut this one off and go to the bootleg setup that I got. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Bam. Yeah, that one is brighter. Yeah. But still, you know, nothing compared to that other camera. But, I mean, hey. <laughs> Like I said, you probably have this stuff lying around the house. This is Shaggy. J-Lo. Team Paranormal. Uh, happy hunting. And we're out. Peace. Got a bad feeling, bro.